Hi everyone, um, my name is Helena and I work in Intel and I'm based out of Shannon in Ireland and I'm here to describe some work, some collaboration work done between Intel and Nokia uh, to integrate Collecti and Vitrage and then show an application of this work uh, in noisy neighbour fault detection and correction. So Today um, I'm going to give a bit of background on why the work was done, then some information on Collecti and Vitra as the technologies used, and uh, Intel Resource Director Technology is, is the um, technology that we're going to use to detect the fault on the noisy neighbour, and then I'll describe how it all integrates together, and then hopefully run the demo and describe what's happening. So why we decided to integrate Collecti and Vitrage uh, was to enhance surface assurance on a virtualized platform. So to do this, our service assurance is essentially um, providing service quality to pre uh, providing a good quality of service for predefined services. So. Uh, detecting and correcting faults, uh, degradations, violations on a platform will enhance service assurance. So it made sense to do this integration. So Collecti is the is the system statistics collection daemon that is used to collect the statistics from the platform. It can be used to use on a virtualized platform. So this is why we chose. Collect D. It's an open source project. Um, to collect the statistics, it uses plugins. So you can write your own plugins, most of which are written in C. Uh, they read the statistics from the platform and send them to Collect D, who can then propagate them to other services. Uh, Collect D also supports thresholding and notifications. So there's a threshold plugin that you can set thresholds for other plugins that are reading the statistics where you can uh, set the threshold for those statistics and if the threshold is broken a notification will then be triggered and can be sent to other services. So c the other services can then read these statistics by registering callback functions on notifications. Uh, to communicate with OpenStack services Collect D has a Python plugin because OpenStack services are generally written in Python, so uh, it needs the Python plugin to be configured for the um, OpenStack service plugin. So Vitrage is the technology we're going to use as the fault management system. It uh, is OpenStack's root cause analysis service, so it not only provides event and alarm functionality, it also uh, can detect the root cause of the problem. It it's, um, can detect the cause so much that uh, um, it can even detect the core that any VM that is created is pinned to. Hence, it can determine the root cause and also um, uh, predict, uh, determine the cause before it's actually been detected. So Intel Resource Director Technology um, is a technology used to monitor and con control um, things like uh, last level cache and memory bandwidth. So the monitoring technologies include cache monitoring technology and the memory bandwidth monitoring technology. The cache monitoring technology is what will be used to monitor the last level cache. Uh, to control these monitored um, cache and memory bandwidth, we then use the allocation technologies. So cache allocation technology and the code data prioritization technology. Um, the cache allocation technology also has a cool feature where you can define a class of service. So you define the class of service for uh, your VM, you assign it uh, the amount of cash that it is allowed to use. So if it's a higher priority process, uh, it gets more cash allocation. And if it's lower priority, a lower cash allocation. So there will be no degradation in performance 
on uh, the higher priority um, process. So how all of the technologies integrate together? Uh, Collect D will be running on your virtualized platform. Uh, it'll have the Intel RDT con uh, plugin configured. Uh, it'll also have the Python co plugin configured to read the Collect Vitrage plugin, and it'll also have the Threshold plugin configured to, with a threshold set for the RDT plugin, which will be monitoring the last level cache of the VMs. So if the uh, last level cache goes below the threshold that's going to be set in the threshold plugin, the notification will be sent from Collect D to Vi the Collect D Vitrage plugin, which will then uh, post it to Vitrage itself. So now I'm going to run the demo and try and explain what is happening um, to do noisy neighbor fault detection and correction. So here we have the bare metal host command line. We also have the, up on the top right is going to be your noisy neighbor. Below it, to demonstrate how effective this is, we have a video stream that will be run on one of the VMs to show when the fault is occurring, the video stream will start to become interrupted and not work properly. We also have a vitrage entity graph that shows the whole deployment of the entire system. Then the Grafana display down on the bottom left has the last level cache uh, values that are being read from Collect D, which will be running in the bare metal host. And then there's a display here for the alarms that will be triggered when the noisy neighbor is begun. Um, so, as you can see, Collect D has been started and um, uh, it's going to check the COS, so that class of service that um, has been assigned. It isn't assigned at the moment for either the, the, the media player or the noisy neighbor. So uh, at the moment when the media player is running, it's going to get all the cache because there's nothing, the noisy neighbor isn't being run and so the video stream will be clear and you can see the last level cache values that are being read from Collect D down the bottom on the left. So then, um, as you can see, the video stream is running fine. The Collect D is running and there's no COS uh, class of service to find for any, either of the VMs. And down the bottom left, you can see the, the top line is the last level cache values for the media player. And the line across the bottom is the values coming from the noisy neighbor, which doesn't have anything running yet. So we're now going to start. Uh, to thrash the cache on the noisy neighbor. So it's going to increase its uh, uses of the cache and uh, you'll see the video stream will become interrupted. And uh, immediately when the noisy neighbor has been detected, the alarm will be triggered and you can see it in the vitrage entity graph and in the uh, uh, alarm display down the bottom here on the right. So the alarm has been triggered over in the entity graph uh, and it will now appear, the Collect D alarm and the Vitrage alarm appear down the bottom. You can see that um, Collect D has noticed that the threshold has been broken so it describes uh, what has caused the alarm and Vitrage can then um, specify what exactly has caused the VM to become 
what has caused the fall to occur as well. So this bit of the demo shows how the quality of the video will decrease and you can see the cache levels of the uh, noisy neighbor will become high and the video player will become very low. So Vitraj will then um, trigger uh, an action that will allow a Mistral workflow to um, begin. This will clear the alarms. It will also define a, a COS rule for the media player and the noisy neighbor. So the media player is going to get a higher COS rule for a higher COS rule for um, more cash allocation and the noisy neighbor will have a lower priority so it won't get as much allocation. So even though the noisy neighbor will still be running, the, uh, the cash usage won't affect the media player. So you can see the alarms have been cleared and in a few seconds the video stream will come back um, and be as clear as it was in the beginning. And you can also see down in the bottom left that the cash usage for the VM has, um, or the values for the cash, the last level cash of the VM has increased again and for the noisy neighbor and the bare metal host um, aren't using as much. This is because we've defined the COS for both. And you can see up in the, on the host where the COS is defined and uh, it is two for the media player and uh, lower for the noisy neighbor. So that was the demo. So just to summarize how that worked. So the noisy neighbors detected via the Intel RDT plugin reading the last level cache from the platform and triggering the notification uh, which has a threshold set by ClickD as well. This notification is then propagated to Vitraj where Vitraj determines the cause of the uh, fault um, and does its root cause analysis. It then uh, triggered the corrective action, so it um, defined the COS rule for the cache allocation technologies uh, used by the Intel RDT plugin to de define the higher uh, COS rule for higher COS priority for the, ca for the media player and the lower COS for the um, the noisy neighbor. So below is a link to the demo which is online so anyone can go and watch it again if they want to read more into it. Um, I'd also, this is a pre, we'll say a prerequisite to the a presentation that is going to be carried out this evening um, which I'd encourage you all to go to. It'll be carried out by Marianne from Intel and Afaf from Nokia. Um, also, if you want to learn more about Intel RDT technologies, the Intel booth has a demo running at these times for the, that technology. And if anyone wants to contact me or ask me questions, they're welcome to. And that's sort of my presentation. <laughs>